Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another video of the mash covering a Chinese song entitled Mo Li Hua or in English Jasmine Flower together with Chinese singer Wu Tong. This song is a request from some of my Max Tubers, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we play the video, I am once again inviting everyone to follow me on my Instagram account at Max underscore Q. Likewise, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. You folks know the drill. If you want to watch the entire performance, the full video without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box and I'll provide you the link which will direct you to the original video. Also, to avoid this video from being blocked due to potential copyright issues, I will have to alter the original video a bit. Perhaps, superimpose an effect on it. So I hope you guys won't mind. But to those who do not like added effects on the original video, again, you can head to my description box, okay? The original video link is there. So without further ado, let's start. This is one song I am very familiar with. It is a very old Chinese folk song that every Chinese singer knows. The original version is very chill. It has a very nice yet simple melody. Not a typical song that you choose to sing if you want to show off your vocal chops. As for the intro music we are currently hearing, this is pretty much uh, the mood of the original version, which is very calming. So I guess that's Wu Tong, based on the name that was just flashed on screen. So he is an instrumentalist as well. Cool. 这个乐器叫声,对吗? It's called a sheng, a traditional Chinese wind instrument. But I can be wrong because, again, I am not that well-versed with Chinese instruments. So if, in case I am wrong, please feel free to correct me down below. Sorry, I just gotta pause real quick. From the point of view of an events director, I just have to admire how the stage sparkled as the camera zoomed in on Dimash, accompanied by that beautiful, almost magical, Disney-ish transition in the music. Well, his rendition stayed true to the original version. Very light, very simple, and relaxed. Nothing over the top, which for me is a nice start. Because for an iconic song like this, we need to show respect by establishing it first before applying any variations, which I am 100% sure they will inject somewhere in the song. Come on, we are talking about Dimash here. With such a vocal powerhouse, 
They will want to squeeze every note out of him for sure. As for Wu Tong, it is my first time to listen to him, so I have yet to discover his style. <laughs> Okay, I presume uh, the one who's doing the ad libs right now is Wu Tong. By the way, does anyone know what these footages are? Are these from like a movie or something? If so, how are these scenes um, connected to this version of the folk song? Please comment down below. <laughs> Yep, I'm right. It's Wu Tong, and he also has a very high belt voice, which is nice. Dimash took on the low notes, while Wu Tong went for the higher notes. I just wish Wu Tong's volume in that before uh, the word Hua was a bit louder, because his voice was almost drowned out by Dimash's B3. And to think, Dimash wasn't even exerting any effort yet. But I do love the crescendo both of them did. Again, I am not sure what these video clips are, but they really look like um, scenes from a movie. That said, the mood of the song just changed into something more upbeat, which is an interesting twist that I've never heard of before. Because usually, when they do more upbeat versions of this song, Mo Li Hua, they retain the classical instruments and the lightness of the mood. On the other hand, this sounds more action-packed, so maybe that's why they used these footages. But I have to say, I like the instrumentation. Let's continue. <laughs> I love what he did here, very unexpected. From the very traditional rendition earlier, he now sounds more modern. Add to that the ethnic feel of his ad-libs, which is really, really nice. Again, if you wish to watch the full performance without any alteration, without any interruption, please check out the original video link in my description box, okay? Let's go back to the video. And now, Wu Tong's version is giving me an alternative pop rock vibe. Hmm. Which surprisingly sounds good as well. It is an unusual combination, I must say. But it doesn't sound weird. Combining folk, alternative pop rock, and uh, some ethnic sounds, which I think is really, really cool. I also find his voice very distinct and unique. Without a doubt, both of them have extremely high voices. But personally, huh, I just feel like 
Wu Tong lacks the vocal power, the punch, to go head to head with Dimash in this kind of performance where power is absolutely necessary. It's like, mm, it's like a tornado hitting a massive mountain. The tornado might be strong, but the mountain ain't going nowhere. And once the tornado hits the mountains, its power just weakens. I love both of their ad-libs here, and I just have to say that they're slaying it. Again, I do hope you guys get the chance to listen to the original traditional version of this song because you'll find what they did here is extremely unexpected, which is nice. <laughs> See, they were singing the exact same melody, but we can hear the significant difference in the power of their voices. One sounds more solid, and the other sounds more airy. Now these are some weird visuals. They don't seem to go with the song. So I'm not exactly sure what version I'm watching right now. But anyways, Dimash is painting different colors with his ad-libs, which he always does. Wu Tong's ad-libs are also incredible, but unlike Dimash, his sounded more consistent in terms of tone, not a lot of different colors. So ultimately, this would depend on the listener's personal preference, whether he prefers more consistent tones or different tones. For me, I am okay with both because both are hard to do and hard to achieve. And they did these beautifully. Incredible blending, harmonization sounds great. Dimash going for the lower second voice, while Wu Tong going for the melody. I almost forgot to say this, but by far, of all the Chinese songs I have heard from Dimash, his diction here is the best. Very impressive, both of them going high and higher. C5 for Wu Tong, E5 and F5 for Dimash. Now remember, these are crazy head-splitting high notes for men. Not everyone can reach them. Wow. As expected, they ended the song with a bang. E5 for Wu Tong, for Dimash, an A5 and G5, and even an E6, D6, and C6, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 
they both killed it, giving us that grand ending that we all wanted to hear. I think overall, it is an awesome duet, but not without its flaws. For instance, I always believe that for two singers to go head to head in such a powerful number, both singers should be able to deliver the same level of intensity. Unlike in Dimash and Li Yu Kang's duet, the latter's voice was meant to sound sweeter and softer. Don't get me wrong, Wu Tong is an amazing vocalist and musician himself. We can hear it in his parts, the way he attacked his notes, the way he delivered his verses. He has his own uh, unique artistry and style, which I appreciate. His vocal range is also remarkable. But I just think he is not the perfect match for Dimash for this particular song with this particular arrangement. I'm not saying that it is a bad match. It's just not the perfect match in terms of vocal punch in my humble opinion. To my Max Tubers, what are your thoughts about this duet? Please feel free to comment down below. And if you like this performance, please give this video a thumbs up. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Tube. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. See you again next time.